best about this tree? What I like best about it is that it's such a cinch. That's what you like best? Come on, Jean. It won't hurt you to try something fun for once. Give it a few years and you'll be brain dead from all that studying you do. Not before you die of a head injury. I'm not jumping out of that tree just because it's your idea of a good time. Yeah, Finny, I don't know about this. All right, watch. If I do it, you're all gonna do it. Well, here's my contribution to the war effort. Come on, you're next. I just want everyone to know I'm doing this out of my own free will. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, I called it. Come on, stop standing, they're showing off, we're all waiting! Jump! I think that was better than Finney's. All right, Leper, don't start handing out prizes until you've passed the course. The tree's waiting. You did very good. I I shamed you anyway. You didn't shame anyone into doing anything. I definitely did. You'd back out of everything if I didn't push you. I've never backed out of anything in my entire life. You're an idiot. You going to that party at Rob's tonight? No, it's not really my thing. Besides, I have to get um, my English reading out of the way. It's alright. We don't have to go. I don't get this book, man. Who in the right mindset names a character Cliff Quackenbush? I don't really believe we bombed Central Europe. Do you? No, I don't think I believe it either. You still afraid to jump out of that tree? Afraid? No. Then let's go right now. We'll jump together to cement our friendship. We'll form a suicide society. And the membership requirement? To jump out of this tree. A suicide society? The suicide society of the summer session. Good. The super suicide society of the summer session. How's that? All right. You know I have a trick test tomorrow. You work too hard. You know all about history and English and French and everything else. What good will trig do you? I have to pass to graduate for one thing. Don't give me that. You're the last one at Devon who has to worry about graduating. You want to be the head of the class, valedictorian, so you can make a speech on graduation day in Latin or something boring like that. I know you. Don't be stupid. I wouldn't waste my time on anything like that. You never waste your time. That's why I have to do it for you. Someone has to be out of the class. See? I knew that's what you were aiming at. You wouldn't mind if I was out of the class, would you? I'd kill myself out of jealous envy. I hope you're having fun out here at least. I know I kind of dragged you. But I wouldn't do this kind of thing with anyone other than my best friend. Which is what you are. Elwin Leper Lapelier has just announced his intention to make the jump this very night to qualify to face his fears at last. If he jumps out of that tree, I'm Mahatma Gandhi. We gotta be there anyway. Who knows? Maybe he'll actually do it this time. You've gotta be kidding me. I'm trying to study. You know, books, work, examinations. Yeah? Of course you don't get it. Fine! We go watch Leopard not jump out of the tree, and I ruin my grade. You wanna study? Never mind. Forget it. I know. I joined the club. I'm going. What else can I do? Don't go. Just don't go if it's that big of a deal. It's just a stupid game anyway. What are you talking about? Look, I, I get it. I'm sorry I got worked up. But you really are smart, Jean. Way smarter than me. I'm gonna go watch Leopard. You can stay here and study. Wait. Just wait. I'm coming. No, stay. You already said- Just forget about the studying, Finny! Are you sure you've done enough already? Yes. Come on down a little further. We'll jump down together.
Finney's condition has started to improve. I'm sure he'd appreciate a visit or two, especially after these past few days. They've been really rough on him. You don't think I'll upset him or anything? You? No. I don't want anyone else to bother him, but seeing a good friend should do him some good. I'm sure he's still feeling sick. It was a really messy break. His leg practically shattered. But you know Finney. We'll have him out of it eventually. He'll be walking again. Walking again? Yes. Sports are finished for him after an accident like that, of course. Uh, but he can't. He must be able to. His leg's still there. You haven't amputated it, so... Sports are finished. As his friend, you should help him to face that and accept it. You need to be hopeful and cheerful around him. He needs that from you. He wanted especially to see you. You were the only person he asked for. Come on in. You look worse than I do. Finny, I... The tree. How did you fall out of that tree? I swear. I just fell, Jean. The branch moved and I lost my balance. Do you remember what made you fall? I probably just lost my balance. I mean, for a while I had this thought. I looked over at you and I had this feeling. But that doesn't matter. Sorry about that feeling I had. Finny, I have to tell you something. You're going to hate me for it, but you have to know. I was thinking about you and the accident because I caused it. What do you mean you caused it? I jounced the limb. I caused it. I deliberately jounced the limb so you would fall off. No, of course you didn't. Yes, I did. I did. Sit down, Jean. You can't even get up. You can't even come near me. Shut up. Just go away. I'm tired and you make me sick. Just leave. You'll be back in school in a few weeks, won't you? At least after break. I'll be there by Thanksgiving. I'm sorry about all that. It's been a long day. I guess I haven't been making much sense. Don't worry about it. I should probably head out. I have school early tomorrow. You aren't going to start living by the rules, are you? Oh no, I wouldn't do that. Stay back from break. Not very happy, but yeah, thanks. How's it been over there? Who are you rooming with? Nobody. They didn't put anyone else in the dorm. Same in my place for me, good old Devin. You wouldn't have let them put anyone else in there anyway, would you? No, of course not. I didn't think you would. Roommates are roommates, even if they do have the occasional fight. You were absolutely crazy last time I saw you, Jane. I guess I was, yeah. You really scared me, man. You were all over the place. Yeah. So, what's going on over there? Start with sports. You trying out for anything? Well, no. Not exactly. I've been managing equipment. Assistant crew manager and all that. Assistant crew manager? You really are crazy. I'm just too busy for sports, Finny. Listen, if I can't play sports, you're gonna play them for me. There's somebody at the door. I gotta go. Oh. Alright. Bye then. Bye. Hey, I didn't know you were coming around today. Yeah, the student council is checking all the dorms. The school board wants to make sure everyone's unpacked and ready to start the term. Look at you, got the whole place to yourself. What'd you do, get rid of Finney so you didn't have to share? What? No, of course not. What are you getting so defensive about? It was just a joke, Jean. Calm down. Sure, yeah. Finney's coming back in a few days, right? I've been hearing things. Everyone's got news about him. I've been hearing a lot about you, too. Just drop it and invade someone else's dorm. Fine. See you later, Jean. Right. I'm going to enlist tomorrow. I'm 18. I'm old enough. I'm enlisting. You know, I've been thinking of enlisting, too. What? You're a girl. Girls can't be soldiers. Well, not soldiers, but that doesn't mean that we're useless. You should join too, Jean. We could become nurses or pilots or mechanics, like Rosie the Riveter.
So what did I miss? Same old place, isn't it? No, it's not So what did you end up trying out for? I didn't try out for anything. You aren't still assistant crew manager, are you? No, I quit that. I just don't think sports are as important with the war on. Don't tell me you bought all that war stuff. All what war stuff? There isn't any war. You remember the Roaring Twenties, right? When everyone was drunk all the time and people did whatever they wanted? Yeah. Well, all the higher-ups didn't like that. All the rich old fat men in their big mansions and fancy cars. So they tried prohibition, but everybody just got drunker. So they arranged the Great Depression, and now this war. And only these rich old fat men know about it? Well, yes. And me. What makes you so special? Why do you get to be in on it while the rest of us stay in the dark? Because I've suffered. Leper, what are you doing here? I thought you enlisted. They didn't want me. I got out there, I, I couldn't even make it past training. You know, I spent all this time convincing myself that this was it. That I was finally gonna be somebody. That I was gonna make a difference. It turns out I'm just as useless as everybody thinks I am. Leper, I... Save it, Jean. I know you don't really care. Not about me. Not about anyone. I always knew. Since the beginning. I just let you get away with it all. I let you knock Finny out of that tree. You know nothing about that! You don't know a thing, you crazy stupid! I just stood there and let you cripple him for life. SHUT UP! JUST SHUT UP! THIS HAS NOTHING TO DO WITH ME! You're right, Leper. I don't care what happened to you in the army. I never cared. And I don't care what happens to you now. You've been putting off enlisting for one reason. You know that, don't you? No, I don't. It's Finny. You pity him. I don't pity him, Brinker. You do. And if you don't watch out, he's going to start pitying himself. Nobody ever mentions his leg to him, except me. How is he gonna come to terms with it if we treat him like nothing ever happened? Just keep out of it, Brinker! You were there with him when it happened. Don't forget, you have a personal stake in this too. It wouldn't do you any harm, you know, if everything about Finney's accident was cleared up and forgotten. Brinker sent me to come get you. It's after hours, what does she want? You'll see, get Finney. <laughs> officially in session. We will start by calling Phineas to the stand. Phineas, could you describe the incident, please? As clearly as you remember it, in your own words. In my own words? Yes, we're investigating your accident. Enough of this! I told Brinker this morning that I thought this was the worst. And I said that for Phineas' good, and your good too, Jean, we should get this all out into the open. What is there to discuss? I fell out of a tree. Why? Why? Because I took a wrong step. Did you lose your balance? Yes. Finny, have you ever thought that you didn't just fall out of the tree? Someone else was up there with you, correct? No, I don't think so. You were there too, weren't you, Jean? Yes. You were down at the bottom, I thought. Yes, that's where I was. No, I heard Jean was right up there with you. I don't know, I don't remember. Who else was there? I was. Lepper, if you could recount the events in detail for us, please. I was standing right there at the trunk of the tree. They were up there, both of them. On the limb? Yes, on the limb. I remember looking up and seeing them there together. Where were they standing exactly? One of them was by the trunk, and the other one was a little further out into the limb. And then what happened? I remember... The one by the trunk sank for a second, and then the other one sank and fell. So the one who moved first shook the other's balance. Yes, I'd say so. I don't care. Was the one who fell, Phineas, was he the one that moved first or second? I don't care! Phineas! I don't care. What does it matter anyway? I don't care. 
Wait, we haven't heard everything yet. We haven't gotten all the facts. Then collect your facts, Brinker! I tried to tell you before. I know. I remember that. Why are you here, Jean? I don't know. I had to be. I thought I belonged here. I wish to God there wasn't any war. What makes you say that? It's so much harder to do this with the war on, Jean. Do you know how many letters I wrote? The Marines, the Army, the Navy. Not a single one would accept me. I was about ready to write somebody in Russia. You and Micah in Russia. I hate it everywhere if I'm not in this war. Don't you get that? That's why I kept saying all winter there wasn't any war. I was going to keep saying that until one of them accepted me. Then there would have been a war. Finny, you wouldn't belong in this war even if nothing had happened to your leg. Give it a day and you'd already be trying to make friends with everyone on the opposite side. You're too good for something like that. It was just some kind of blind impulse you had in the tree there. You didn't know what you were doing. Is that what happened? Yes, but how could you ever believe that? How could I ever convince you to understand? I believe you. It's okay because I understand, and I believe you. How is he? This is something that your generation is going to see a lot of, and though I regret to have to say this to you, it's something that you must know. Your friend is dead. In the middle of the operation, his heart just stopped. I, I can't explain it. Well, yes, I can. I, I, was, I was moving the bone. Some of the marrow must have escaped into the bloodstream and, and gone directly to his heart and, and stopped it. That's the only explanation. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm.